Hey YouTube, uh, this is Crosby the Seventy Seven One here. Um, today I'm just gonna be showing you um, how to jailbreak um, the iPod Touch uh, 2G uh, MC MB model. Uh, MC will be uh, tethered jailbreak. Um, uh, the MB model will not be; it will be untethered, and the iPhone 3G will be untethered, duh, and it will be unlocked. It will be not be unlocked. Sorry. Uh, this is uh, strictly for jailbreaking purposes only. If you do not want to lose uh, your unlock, uh, I suggest you stay away from this video. Uh, so you have been warned, okay? So if you do not rely on unlock on on an unlock on the iPhone 3G, then um, you're fine on this video. Oh, and uh, this is to jailbreak the 4.1 firmware. Now I'm talking fast and a lot, but just bear with me. This is jailbreak uh, 4.1 firmware, and I'll show you on 4.1 in a second. It's jailbroken right now, but I'm going to upgrade, as you see, because iTunes want me, wants me to upgrade. I'm, like, been holding off, even though I have my SHSH club saved. But still, I just, I went to it a couple times, and I find it kind of glitchy. So I decided not to. General about, and you'll see right there, 4.0.2. I'm going to be upgrading to 4.1, and I'll come back when that's done. And a quick thing is, to show you it's really slow. I have multitasking enabled, too. It's really slow, though. Uh, just hold on. See the scrolling is kind of slow too. Let's go. See how it loads pretty slow. Okay, well yeah, that's enough. So uh, I'll come back when I have a uh, four point one on and uh, show you. By the way, this is as of right now. It's only on the Mac. It's only on the Mac. Um, and it's being tested on the Windows um, as of as we speak. So, um, so I'll be back in a second. I'm back here. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to do it. Actually, show you. So this is only work for the iPod Touch 3G, or the iPhone 3G, and the iPod Touch 2G MB MC model. But the thing is, MC model will be tethered, and the MB model will not be. So tethered meaning, um, if you turn your device off, if you uh, if you run out of battery, you will need to uh, run Red Snow again or restore your device. So that's a downside to that. But the iPod Touch 2G MB model, you're fine. You don't need to worry about that. It's an untethered. It's untethered. Okay. And the iPod Touch uh, iPhone 3G, you uh, you will need to. Or uh, it's a jailbreak, so it's purely for jailbreaking purposes only. You will not get an unlock. You will lose your unlock if you upgrade a 4.1 firmware. So stay away. Please stay away from this jailbreak. Go away, people who need an unlock until further notice. Okay. I'll let you guys know when that's when that is. Okay, so first thing you need to do is go to this site. It's uh, I'll have this in the description crotch bar. Um, it's only working for Mac right now, Mac OS X, and it will be coming soon for Windows, which means that basically right now it's being tested on Windows as we speak. Okay, so that's number one. You need Red Snow, the newer one. Number two is you need to browse for your uh, firmware. So any firmware you need right now is, well, the only firmware you need right now is 4.1 firmware for the iPod Touch 2G and the 3G, so iPhone 3G, sorry. iPhone 3G 4.1 or iPod Touch 2G 4.1. So download one of those two for your corresponding, um, your corresponding uh, device. Once you've done that, uh, you open up the Red Snow app. As you can see, I have all my firmwares here, and the 4.1 firmware is right there for the iPhone. So I'm just going to hit Browse, and it's right there. Yeah. Hit Open, and then hit Next. Okay. Let that finish up. And then you're going to want to hit these four. These guys, it's up to you if you want to. Basically, just read up here where it says uh, any custom logo should be PNG files in RGB or clay, gray scale, and you keep on reading, okay? Basically means your boot logo or your recovery logo will be changed from that boring Apple logo to something else, or whatever you want. That is within those limits. Okay, and hit next. And then for this, you're going to want to make sure your device is off and into DFU mode. So, so basically meaning... You, need to you don't need to tell me how. I don't, I don't need to tell you how to turn your device off, but I mean DFU mode, restore, uh, recovery mode for some people that don't know. Just uh, slide it. 
you can do it this way or the other way, but it's, I, I it doesn't really matter. Slide your uh, thing to power off it, or to power it off, and then when it's done, you're gonna want to hold these two buttons, these two, for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. So you're gonna want to hold this button for 10 seconds. After that. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then you'll get that on your thing. Waiting for reboot. Okay, and it's white, and there you go. Okay, now let's focus on this. I'll come back when so it's really just close. Up and just rebooting right now. Okay, so once you've, uh, once it's rebooted, you should be good to go. And I will show you that I'm 4.1 firmware again and that I have Cydia installed, okay? Okay, so it's done rebooting, and slide it, and there you go. Cydia, as you can see, it's a little buggy, just like on the first the first 4.0 firmware jailbreak for Red Snow. It was a little bit buggy, but it's gotten better. Okay, so it's real. It's real. So like I said, I'm going to show you the firmware. It's legit. Okay, so general about 4.1 jailbroken iPhone 3G with Cydia. Oh, yeah, again with this thing. It's just like, see, it's all glitchy. I don't know if you see that, but it's all glitchy. It's just like the uh, 4.0 jailbreak with uh, jailbreakme.com. <laughs> wow. Okay. It says loading data, but there's an Apple logo and a status bar. <laughs> it's all glitchy. Uh, well, anyway, um, it's going to just take too long, so sorry. But it, it's legit. Just trust me. It's legit. It's real. See, so you have multitasking on. And this is an iPhone 3G. God. Okay, so yeah. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, guys, and peace. It may not mean nothing to y'all.